Hey guys, it's Joanne here. So today I am bringing you a first impression slash review video of a dot grid notebook that you can use for like bullet journaling or art journaling, etc. So I had previously done on my channel a review of a planner from the company Clever Fox Planner. It was a undated day on a page uh, planner and then an undated weekly planner, which I reviewed. And if you saw that review, I gave it really high praise. I loved the... Um, the quality of the paper and I loved the fact that it had dot grid paper in the back of the planner. I was thinking to myself I wish this company would come out with a dot grid just notebook because I would definitely love to be able to use that for bullet journaling or for creating lists or for my brain dumping that kind of thing uh, doing some project management. So the company contacted me and basically said Joanne we would love to send you every single color of the notebook. <laughs> so Clever Fox, thank you so much for sending me all of these notebooks. And so the good news is this, if you watch this video to the end, there are gonna be a couple of opportunities, uh, three opportunities for you to be able to actually win one of these notebooks if after my review you want to give it a shot. One's going to be right on this channel here, one is going to be over on my Instagram account, and then the third option is going to be over on my vlog channel. So you have an opportunity to register to win one of these notebooks three times across my social platforms. So without further ado, let's get right into the review first impressions. First of all, let's talk about all the different colors. We have lime green. We have this kind of like a turquoisey blue. We have a bright fuchsia pink, traditional just black, purple, a light pink and then the last one which I opened up for myself which is the teal colored one. So let me flip the camera upside down. We're going to take a look inside this notebook. We're going to do a little bit of a pen test and just talk about the quality of the notebook. So let's get going. I've already taken the cellophane off of this one notebook. So first of all, let's just talk about the sizing. So just to give you an eye comparison, this is the sizing of the Clever Fox weekly planner that I did the review on. And then if you put the dot notebook on top of it, you can see that it is about, I would say, three quarters of an inch shorter and about just about maybe what what's that maybe a quarter inch from height that it's it's lacking so the one thing i would say is that i kind of was hoping that the notebook would be the same size as the planner so that if you're using them the two together that they could you know be the same size and be able to be carried around a little bit easier but i don't think it's that much of a negative the colorings are identical so if you decided you wanted to use the fuchsia it will match the fuchsia the fuchsia planner you know so that's a positive again we talked about the paper in this one and how they had the dot grid at the end and the fact that the pages on this planner just didn't bleed and they were really nice, high quality paper. So let's get right into this one. We're gonna open it up, um, take this little flap off. And it does come, and it does come with the same stickers as what came in the planner. So we have all these options to choose from. Here is what the dot grid pages look like. 
It is a crisp white paper. Each page is actually numbered at the bottom, and I'll try to zoom in so you can actually see those. So in total, we have, let's see how many pages are in here. In total, there are 127 pages with a couple of little pages in the back. Uh, there's no pockets or anything on these, so this is just really like a traditional. This would be like a competitor to the Lectrum notebook. I am going to be doing a follow-up video very shortly, uh, probably right when I get done doing this, of comparing this to the Electrum, the Erin Condren uh, grid notebook, and kind of talk about which ones would be the best, in my opinion, for bullet journaling. So let's just get right to the pen test. I'm going to flip to the back just because I always think the back is a lot easier for a pen test, and we are going to start with my Coletto pen. I'm going to start with the purple, and and we're just going to start by just writing my name. That's with my Coletto. We're going to use a pink. This is just a Z-Grip Flight pen from the Dollar Tree. This is more of a gel pen. We're going to try these dual La Plume markers from the Dollar Tree that a lot of people use in their planners. More of a marker. And we'll use the marker end of it. I'm just whipping through these really quick, guys. And then what we will do to finish it off is let me put some black ink down here. Okay. And we are going to finish it off with highlighting something. And this is a yellow highlighter, which is bleeding a little bit because I am didn't wait for the pen to dry. But that's okay. You guys will get the point, right? And then, so we will try writing with a fountain pen. And this is just a Pilot Metropolitan. And we can flip it over on the other side and you will see that there was absolutely no ghosting whatsoever. No shadowing of the pens of any kind. This feels identical to the paper that is in their planners. So I definitely am loving, loving this notebook. And I will say this for, um, as far as it being a preference when it comes to the dot grid is how light or dark that you like to have your dots. I, for one, because I have issues with my eyes, I need bifocals and I wear glasses that I do find um, I can actually see to be able to write properly on these. Um, I don't, there are some dot grids that are actually too light for me. And when the, for example, the Lectrum, I think I mentioned it, like the, the paper was just, because it was a cream paper and the dots were like too light, like I really had a hard time. It was almost like an optical illusion when I was looking at the page. So a couple other features of this notebook is it does have three of the same identical color ribbons, which is nice to be able to to if you're making spreads for like if you're making a monthly spread up front and then you're putting you know like a checklist in a different area and then some planning in a different area it gives you three choices and it also has a pen loop at the bottom which I will test out will fit a sharpie so and it actually is um, big enough to be able to fit the Coletto on it and then of course it has the closure that keeps it all nice and nice and tight and closed. So I definitely, definitely would give this boat, this notebook a big thumbs up for me. If you would like an opportunity to win one of these notebooks, I'm going to tell you exactly what you have to do. The three notebooks that are going to be in the giveaways are the black, the fuchsia, and the blue color. Sorry, folks, the teal is mine. <laughs> All that you have to do is to win the black notebook, which is going to be given away on this channel right here, is you have to be a subscriber of the channel. You have to leave a comment below and say... I would love to try out, I would love to try this notebook. So I would love to try this notebook. It's all you have to put in your comment. Of course, you can comment something else if you want, but putting, I would love to try this notebook 
in your comment and I will randomly pick a winner. Um, 18 years or older, please. It will be opened internationally. So again, the black one will be given away on this channel. The fuchsia one will be given away over on my vlog channel. Currently over on my vlog channel, I am doing Vlogmas and the next vlog video that is going up, which is the one I'm recording today, is I'm going to have the giveaway instructions over there. So if you're not already subscribed, the hint is you have to go over and subscribe to the vlog channel, watch that vlog seven video, find out what you have to say in that video to be able to be entered to win the fuchsia notebook. The third giveaway is going to be over on my Instagram. So if you are not yet following me over on Instagram, I am at Joanne Plans over on Instagram. What I would like you to do over there is you will see a picture of all of these planners laid out on my feed. You have to find that picture and you have to and follow the directions on that picture for how you for how you can win this notebook. It'll be like you have to follow me on Instagram, uh, tag a friend to enter, that kind of thing. All of these notebooks will be given away in seven days. So make sure you have the notification bell hit so you can check back to see if you won the giveaway. Yeah, so that is my video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful, informative to you. I did, like I said, I did not know the Clever Fox was doing um, dotted, dotted notebooks. This is like big, this is like great news for me. I'm so excited. If you like these kind of review slash planner videos, please make sure you give my video a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. It's so nice to meet you. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe, hit the notification bell, become part of my YouTube family. For those of you who have already been a part of my YouTube family, thank you so much for coming back on my channel and watching my video. I truly appreciate your support. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm going to chat with you in my next video. Bye, guys.